Hello and welcome back. Yes, Do you know what your actions have cost me? I have spent months fortifying positions to continue the fight against the humans. Now I have to abandon them because of you. We will fix this, Atriox. We only thought it wise to inform you of the threat. You thought it wise? The flood is the very thing this installation was created to destroy. You have no idea what you've unleashed. If we don't send every soldier we have right now to stop its spread, everything we've worked for will be doomed. We've already reactivated the Sentinels. We will help them fix this. You have our word. I want actions, not words. I'm on my way. He's a good leader. Hmm, well I know where our campaign lock is. The blood has spread quickly in the area near High Tyranny. Do not fear, Atriox. With the Sentinel defenses up and running, we will crush the flood threat. It was that very arrogance that caused this mess, Vargas. I'm on my way now. You will have this fixed by the time I arrive. Fight back! Do not let them destroy our base! Their numbers are infinite. Yeah, it's kind of weird how many numbers they have. find the source of this new flood outbreak. Oh, this could be our greatest battle, Pavia. We will be legends. Legends? If we fail, there will be nobody left to recount our folly. Do not underestimate the greatness of this situation, Fortis. They will learn to fear me. Rouse the pack, enemies. Talk of a bulwark. The blood is trying to destroy our base. Stop them. Oh, I have Bordius and Papium. And they're fully upgraded. Nice. Now, first up, I need to make this place defensible. Now I think those infection units technically count as infantry, so under attack. You gotta love that boy is actually heal stuff. Grab it. Crap. Damn it. these choppers back here. Their combat capabilities are pretty limited, but they'll be good for checking the actual objective. Ooh, perfect burnout. Well, it looks like I'm starting at tech level 2, so that's good. Fuck off, Red. You begin it at bell ring, that's my cat fight in me. Oh gosh, I can see you. But to perform such things, it must be close to becoming a grave mind. We must act fast. If it reaches full grave mind, the Ark will be lost to us, and there's still so much to loot from it. Yeah, 
You know, for a group who earlier on didn't believe in the Flood, they've oddly gotten a lot of knowledge quickly. I'm going to pump out some engineers. Augmented extractor upgrade complete. Apex constructed. Turret improved. At least most air units don't actually cost me a lot of power, apart from the bust backs. You know, I miss when the Covenant has... well, this isn't the Covenant, but you know, essentially it's the Covenant reskin for all, all purposes in this game. I was saying, I miss though when they had that Rampart unit in the first game. It was basically an anti-air air unit, which was pretty useful. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, let's see if burnout's nearly ready. Good. It's one of my favourite abilities. It's absolutely perfect for just speeding everything up. Especially early on, because it gives you a great chance to like build up. I mean, mega turrets are good, but you're not. I mean, you. I, at least, don't find myself using them early game. In any circumstance, really. Let's see what's over there first, actually. It doesn't look like they're attacking me anymore. Oh, I can get up here. Oh, crap. I wonder how I'm supposed to collect those supplies. Maybe I need reavers. Okay, they've got some minor units there. Nothing major. Let's see if before I go, I can give myself any good upgrades. Hmm. You know, actually, yeah, that'll be a good thing to use. These two can stay back. I don't want the choppers coming. There we go, that's better. Alright, this way I can take out those raves pretty easily with my hunters. And my banshees. It's kind of fun to have two heroes. Come on, hit him quick, hit him quick. What well, the tentacles are probably the source. Have faith, brother. My siege turret will carve this thing up. There's a point nearby that will provide the necessary firing position. Once we destroy it, we can join the sentinels in pushing the rest of the flood back. I mean, realistically, I'd, I'd assume the tentacles are coming from the main source. Or at least connected to it. Those ones are weird. Hard target detonators researched. Alright, I don't want to bring my main forces through there because those raves are going to keep bombing them until I either clear this out or I'm going to have to run straight through and that's going to kill my infantry.
Alright, I... Yep, waste clip. I can back these up quickly. Now the rest of my units can move in. Unfortunately, it looks like the... You know what, I think the choppers will hold out. You know what, they're all half of the place anyway. Yep, they help. Oh, uh, no, one of them didn't. Oh, well. So I can now upgrade to level 3. Now, first off, I will... Oh, crap. I would look braver than I thought. Get out of my way. Chopper hungry for blood. Ready to hit and run. On the move. Chopper ramped and ready. I'm aware I'm playing this overly cautiously, but... Ooh! Campaign log. Seems safe. I mean, I don't want to use up all my units. I mean, thankfully they're not attacking me anymore, but even so. Come on, drag them all out, drag them all out. Rustin. Our foes are targeting leader power ready. The enemy has spent moving out. Leader power ready. We've been targeted by enemy vehicles. It is ready for battle. Air level one research. What about yellow ore it is? It's very really peculiar. engineers were infused. I've not played a huge amount of multiplayer with Fortius. Pavium seems to be the most popular character. Well, he was the most popular to begin with because of his mega turrets. But I think now people are like starting to see the value Fortius has. But yeah, anyway, uh, as far as I'm aware though, some of his abilities make his other units infuse, they start spewing that stuff that he can ignite or he can be powered up by. Alright, let's see if he's within range. Actually, he might not be. I'm gonna move it just there, just play it safe. This will bring him close enough. What 
Alright, next objective. I'm gonna obviously have to have more than one mega turret. But that's no bad thing. actually see how to get down there. Apart from maybe Reavers, but I'm not gonna build Reavers just for a supply gathering. Air level two researched. Oh good sentinels. Air units. Who do I need to destroy? Well, I'm just gonna clear that spot out and then I'll get moving. Turret approved. What is that? Exactly? I think that was a spawner, but I'm not. I still don't really understand the flood units fully. Alright, I think I've examined everything apart from up there. Oh no, I examined up there, it was down here, I need to check. Units, I'm gonna put a few here for safe sake. One Reaver, two Marauders, and one Wraith. Wait, um, 10, 15, 15. Oh, I wouldn't be able to. Be one off. Air level three researched. I think I could sell for one Reaver. I mean, the Reaver's more just. Soak up damage. We didn't destroy it, so it must be connected to something. Uno, dos, tres. All will fall before me. Now, this is a small map, so I can't actually think I'd need a lot of turrets. Gross. It would be unstoppable. We must focus all our efforts on it. It's like I'm looking at the backside of a sick giant. Yet. It's not I don't think it's smart enough to feel fear yet. Seems to be some kind of armor shielding the thing's hide. Then it must be protecting something vital. Target the carapace. Need a point earned. Fire. I'm sure fire. 
suppose on the bright side I don't need to worry about multiple uh, turrets. Go Lich! I'll be honest, I'm not quite sure. I think this is the Lich and that's the Vanguard. Right, this seems like a safe area to stick around for now. Yes, and this will make it easier for me to get back up. Oh, grab the supplies, grab the supplies. That lich is very handy. Now let's get some locusts back up. Keep these here just in case, but they shouldn't actually be needed. I'm so glad I brought those locusts. They're gonna cut through those tentacles like they want to butter. I just realized something. Oh, no, I can't. Usually you can upgrade those things. Engineers. Please, how much damage can those sacks take? I've got to be getting close, don't I? Destroy the proto grave mine that when Becky Trout still working.
Okay, Sentinels. Where am I building it? At least with its tentacles retracted, we can Where am I building it? Okay, it's not marked any sites I'm just gonna explore. I'm guessing that's one. might be a little wasteful, but I don't really care that much. Well, I've got Where are they? I need new trophies. Apex constructed. Turret complete. Turret constructed. Okay, I've got time to get another one. Oh, I wait, will. no, I need to. Turning around. Ah, oh, crap, I can't get past them. There's the scout. I wish I'd held on to my glitch. The enemy is present. Oh, I'm, redu oh, I'm reducing its critical thing. Put that monstrosity down. Let's try to stop us with 
Finish it off, finish it off, finish it off. I finished it off there. Not fully, but that section. Thought I upgraded those. Ah, no, I haven't yet. I didn't get to kill more humans in this campaign. I was promised I'd get the chance. Instead, I got to kill like too many bases. Right now, once I clear this area, I'm gonna go see what's over there. This critical mass isn't rising. I wonder why. Maybe it's a good, maybe it's a sign I'm doing well. No, I'm gonna hold off using that loop. I'm gonna wait until I'm back in front of that area. So I don't actually look like I can cross that area. That's a little frustrating. What does Rafe's go? Oh wait, that hit. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it! I'm meant to be attacking that right now. Oh, I am! No wonder the critical mass isn't going up. I'm meant to be shooting it. I believe I've just been abusing a glitch. Or a poor scripting on that part. Force it back out. It 
retreats. Take the time to heal wounds and build another turret. We will need all the firepower. We oh, humans. Not humans, but still humans. I guess they've come across the flood by now. Alright, I want to see what's over there. I've got time. Actually, before I do that, stop moving! Oh crap, I think I lost all my engineers. Who do I need to destroy? Moving up. Actually. Where are they? I need new trophies. I will. One side. Oh, what's down there? Or if I can even go down there. I don't think I can. I think this is near High Charity. Oh. I was hoping I could use that. Bit of a disappointment. I don't know is. They got lucky. I will finish them. Huh, I thought my turret would destroy this for me. I think I miss one. First. Infantry level three researched. I guess I have to push along this way instead. Oh wait, no, there's a base there now. Don't let the blood destroy a single turret. We need every one of them to hurt that thing. Protect our turrets, fools. If we lose them, we'll never force that thing out. My lich must have got that cheap. Oh yeah, it has good. Wait, what the? Target them! 
happens when it crosses the banished. Send you that. All right, time for the final stage. I assume all the damage will be slowing it down. Wait, what the fuck are they going? What's the damn target I give you? Oh, wait, they all count as one unit. That explains some stuff. What's my engineers? Damn it. That was easy. Leader power ready. They will learn to fear me. Flood incoming. Protect our uh, turrets. Up, oh, that's boring. You must not lose them. You want my infusion. You heard Pavium. This may be our last chance to kill that thing. Where are they? I hear the new trophies. How do I keep forgetting to upgrade? You know what, let's see if this will speed it up. Oh, it is. Good, good trip. Turret improved. Turret 
constructed. Turret improved. Again. Hmm, guess that explains what I saw earlier. Get to it, troops! Cleanse that lock while we still can! I will make carrying out the enemy. Moving to position. Moving out. Curse them! Leader power ready. They're moving, they're moving, they're moving. This one is not. Guess that explains why that didn't open up earlier. Oh wait, do I get to control it? Oh, I don't. Alright. I'm gonna position all my blister bags here, that should be close enough. And everyone else will go for a full charge. Moving out. Leader power ready. Our base is under attack. Moving up. 
top bombing. What's that blue thing? Oh, never mind. Where's my engineers again? Jeez, even dies gross. Oh, this is Sentinels. Still, I, um, I thought there'd be more cinematics. It was a good campaign, though. Good story. And it's possible now that... Since they've done all that, and I think all the Flood tried to escape High Charity once it was opened, that High Charity might be ripe for the taking now for Aatrox's forces. So, yeah. Who knows, maybe he'll have new ships in there. Maybe he'll assemble a new armada. Anyway, 
that was Awakening the Nightmare, so thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed. I have to say this was a really good campaign, I think the story, the story I kind of preferred more to the human one, in some respects. But anyway, thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed, please like or subscribe if you did, and goodbye, have a great day. I'm not going to cut it here, I'm going to let the credits on. Or should I... S you know, actually, I'm going to... I'll leave them on, because I think I'm supposed to anyway. And... I'm going to have a look at if there is an end of credit scene. I mean, that was for the regular one. You know, it seems weird that the humans had the singular rights to build research places on the Ark. I would have thought the elites would have had a claim to it. Actually, I would have think that would have been a hotbed for, you know, different forces all trying to invade and take it, so I don't know why the humans actually didn't have bigger defenses. I mean, I know Atriox's group were, were labelled as powerful, the campaign kind of says differently, but... Yeah, so I would have thought there would have been a stronger military presence, and, you know, when they stopped hearing reports, they would have gone after it. I mean, I'm not... I There are areas that are... There are gaps in my knowledge. I'm not sure exactly what has happened overall. Maybe they were too busy trying to deal with Cortana. Though, actually, I would have thought something like... The Ark would have been top priority on her list of things to capture. Actually, now that I think about it, at the end of Halo 5's legendary ending, Cortana's just like seen looking at an Ark. Well, not even looking, it's just there's an Ark and you hear her humming. Maybe that was the one that Anders was on.
I don't know why, but my controller is just non-stop shaking. Huh. That's fancy. They got Lucasfilm. What was it, LucasArts? I misread. I mean, cause to be fair, I imagine George Lucas has got a few companies. Not just his usual George, I mean, LucasArts. I wonder what effect the Banished's work on the Ark is now going to have. Because ordinarily, Sentinels seem to primarily work alongside humans. Because that librarian made some silly decision to make them, like, to give them the mantle of responsibility, or mantle of leadership. I think it was mantle of responsibility. Which, frankly, I think was kind of an odd decision. I mean, she complained that the mantle of responsibility was a bad thing, and then she decided to give it to humans. I mean, considering the fact that before... 
Like, I mean, before she'd done that decision, they'd gone to war with the Forerunners. I mean, I'm not sure if you can really count it as a war. It was more just like a desperate attempt to stop the Flood. But yes, then that didn't work. The humans lost. And then, as like a final insult to injury thing, some of the Forerunners made sure that the hum that the remaining humans that were left alive, because they kind of genetically regressed them, I suppose, would be a phrase. I'm not 100% sure what the phrase would be. Anyway, when they were messing around with humanity after they put them back on Earth and destroyed their spacefaring technology, they also purposely created genetic differences so that humanity would have differences and not be a single unified force. So after all that, I don't know why the librarian thought, hmm, humans would be a good choice for the mantle of responsibility. Should've gone, she should have gone with the elites, personally, I think. I mean, I wouldn't have given it to the broods, because... I don't know what they were like in the original Halo story before the Flood and everything like that, but they were supposedly... I'd, I'd imagine they were still quite aggressive. Grunt did not care enough about their planet, so I don't think they could hold looking after the entire galaxy. Hunters, maybe? I don't know a huge, huge lot about them. I mean, assuming that they've got a unified system and everything, and considering they were able to work with foreign attack, I think, you know, maybe the Hunters actually, they'd be quite ideal. I only really say the Elites because of their, like, honor-based society. Plus, I mean, before they actually met the Prophets, they were actually really reluctant to even use foreign attack. I mean, they kind of viewed themselves as custodians of it. They would just look after the foreign attack, but never mess around with it. But then the for but then um, the prophets invaded and they'd used a lot of foreign attacks. So even though that even though the elites were infinitely better fighters, technologically wise they were outclassed. So eventually they had to you they had to swallow their pride, use the foreign attack, and at that point the entire war became kind of pointless because they well hold on we're, we're doing the exact same thing guys why don't we just work together? Yeah, I wouldn't. I'm not sure if I'd give it to the prophets. Well, their race, I forget what their race is called. So yeah, I'd say either elites or hunters, really. Or, you know, an even better idea. Don't give it to any race. Ah, I really hoped for a cutscene. Oh well, that was the final episode, and that was my Halo rant. So, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Goodbye, have a great day.